So we have the three different uh, building blocks, which is content, um, structure, and format for your paper. In the content, uh, we want to talk about uh, this just a, a minute. So we want to learn to write with Holy Spirit. And we want to only use the first person, actually, when you're telling uh, of your revelation, vision, or dream. We do not want to use first person when you're talking about your paper. I, I'm writing this paper because this is what I think or I believe. All right. What you're wanting to do is you're wanting to give the first person only when you're ex expressing your data that you gathered or um, the revelation or vision or dream that you're talking about or experience that you need to tie it with this. This is not an autobiography and it's not a story about your life. It's an academic work and you want to always give support with scriptures or references. Okay, um, so we want to know that uh, our sentence structure and grammar is really important and spelling as well. In the Google Docs, we're working in Google Docs so you can actually see the words that need to be corrected. You can right click those and uh, see if the alternative uh, uh, selection is appropriate. If it's not, then you can leave it as such because some things are, are not acceptable. You have also the um, the King's English, as we say, or if you've got proper English, spelling like um, color or uh, honor or those types of things, those are very fine to accept. We're accepting that as well because that's um, spelling of a different sort. It doesn't have to be USA spelling. And so we, we do accept that. Um, thesis statement is uh, typically at the end of your introduction and it needs to agree with your conclusion. So that means you're going to need to possibly rephrase your thesis statement at the end of your introduction and it's going to need to agree with your conclusion. You're going to need to show us that you summed it up. Okay, I want to jump into structure. Now, what is structure? Structure is actually the organization of your content. All right now, but you must decide, only you can decide the order of your chapters and how they flow. So that's not something that is that, that we set a precedence for. And so once you get your content in, it's all chunked in there. You might want to rearrange your chapters once you see how that works. And once you get that set up, then here at this link, we have these different elements um, at online.cmmtheology.org. We will go there. These are the elements of your structure. You've got your front matter your body text, and your back matter. Um, okay, so um, in, not in the front matter, but we have the first thing before the front matter, we have the cover. Uh, we have this also on this link, and we're gonna visit that, but the cover uh, for the Bachelor Through Master Two, or Master in Theology course, you are going to be um, actually using this content um, and it'll, one of these, you're going to be either a bachelor, graduate, or master candidate. Um, and and this, these titles here may change, but pretty much this is where it's going to go. And then you put your name and the date. And we like to see, it, put some kind of a picture on there because that would be, uh, that's for the underclassmen. You can have it small or big or however you want to do for your cover. And we'll visit that site. Um, and so in the front matter, we have the title page. Again, we have a link where you can copy and paste it. You have an optional copyright page. Um, your abstract is not mandatory for the bachelor students, but for the master students, it is mandatory. You have a dedication or epigraph that's optional. Acknowledgements is optional. Preface, that's optional. Table of contents is not optional. Um, and list of figures, abbreviations, glossary, and editorial will be optional. Okay, so let me go to, um, let's, let's go ahead and work some of that out. Well, here, I guess I should cover the whole thing. Um, and I will go back to those. In the body text, you have your introduction. At the end of the introduction is your thesis statement. Then you have your um, subheads and chapters or both. Footer, footnotes, Chicago style, in text for parentheticals uh, for MLA and your page numbers, and then your conclusion. And I guess I might as well go through the back order. Back matter would be, it's optional illustrations if you have any, appendices or appendix, bibliography for Chicago style, or works cited for MLA. Now I went through that fast, but let's go back to the very first part. Okay, so let's, let's begin to set this up. Let's go and look at this. Um, also, um, I'm gonna go back to the beginning. Um, let me see here, did I put the 12th? Okay, we want to. 
Okay, we'll, we'll get to the format. Okay, so let's go to, um, let's go here. Let's go ahead and look at this paper. So we've got a paper here. This is a paper, and um, this is typically how you guys are doing them. You're sending them in, uh, and it's all single spaced. Um, single spaced and um, some mistakes in it and um, a different font, et cetera, et cetera. Now, so when I get something like this, typically I read through it, but it depends on if you're coming in at the last minute or late, then I'm gonna start getting some structural pieces together. So we can, we can put some structure together in this and, and get these things set up. But to get the structure ready, I have to look at the paper and say, okay, in that structure piece, we have the title, and there's the name of the person, and here's some basic information. They have the introduction, and there you see that there's some things that need corrected. So, so if I want to change this or fix this, I can click it, and I can change the word, the spelling at the suggestion to see if that's the right spelling that I want, and it'll change it. Lukewarmness, it becomes one word, so you can see that you can go through here, some things of mistakes, so you can fix the uh, mistakes. You read it through and see if these are the things that are working and if, it, if it's a good fit. Now, a lot of times what I will do is um, I run things through Grammarly. Um, if I were to run this through Grammarly, let me show you how that works. And this is content. I'm going back and forth to content and structure right now. Here, if I were to put this introduction in, just this part, whoops, this looks like it's, it's backspaced even. Okay, so there we go. Here's the introduction. And I do like to do this, I run it through um, here. I run everybody's work through here. Now, the reason I do is because this is my, my, uh, my quick cheat. <laughs> um, so I can, I can set it up, knowledgeable, formal, and academic, I stop there, but you can, you can get, uh, I want to inform or describe. So this is probably to inform. Um, so then I can go through here and it's going to give me all the different alerts. Now this is American punctuation. I understand now that there is another type of punctuation where, um, uh, let's see, in the Asian culture and Eastern culture, I don't believe it uses as many commas as we do. But um, so these are this has to do with commas, the punctuation. But why is this underlined here? It's because it's telling me that um, it's a monotonous passage. So it's it's telling me um, if I want to have very engaging things or what to do to change it. Um, there is if my delivery is off, uh, it's going to tell me if my delivery is off, and that that's mean that means how does it sound um, as sentence structure goes and. Uh, how is it passive voices, etc., cetera? Um, or am I using the first person too much? And so it's giving you an overall score of 69 for just this paragraph. Now I can go down here to see if there's been what's called plagiarism, actually any copying or quotations. We try to keep it, the quotations within a 20% because you're using the Bible. So it tells me everything's original, but it gives me all the different corrections. Now it doesn't mean that these are right. This does not mean that that's right, but that's just something that we, we can use to look at. Okay, so we can see that um, we've got some structural things that we need to set up. All we've got is the introduction. And so it, what we can do is if I go back to this page, I'm gonna go here, this is my front matter, um, my original page my, for my front matter. And I can see I can put a copyright page if I want, but I might not want that. Dedication, epigraph, knowledge, uh, uh, I'm sorry, acknowledgement, preface, and table of contents. Okay, and then I've got the different things on here. There's the abstract. Um, typically, um, the abstract should be before the table of contents. I'm not sure why that, sorry. Ta table of contents is after the abstract. We like to have that first. So we'll do that. We'll put the, um, abstract first and then the table of contents <clears throat> and so where is the introduction the introduction will be let's look at that the introduction should be um where am i introduction should be there's the cover you want to see the cover 
Then here's the title page. Title page comes next. And here is an actual uh, copy of the title page. If that is for the bachelor um, student, you can copy and paste that, but you can also, um, I do believe somewhere in here, I have a title page for the graduate. There it is, graduate and master. And you can, you can go to the actual page to do it as well. And then we've got, here's the abstract, the table of contents, and then we have the introduction, and that leads into the body. So let's just go ahead and paste this. Let's pretend that this is a, um, um, this is a graduate paper, maybe. Um, if I open this particular document up, it's going to give me a, um, a more, it's going to give me my, um, my table, I mean, my um, title page without issues because it's it's exactly centered the way it should be centered so if i open that up i can copy it and i'm going to show you what, what i mean so you could just copy this and paste that in and put your information in or if i did it here watch what happens i can just go here i'm going to hit i hit command c or you'd hit control c is to copy because we want to we need to put we're putting structure together remember so right now <clears throat> here is the title page or the cover and so there's my introduction page. I'm going to hit the arrow down. Um, and I'll go ahead and click here and put and paste that in. Okay. So I see uh, that I've got the, the, the cover page here. And I'm going to click right before the title page. And I'm going to go to insert page break or break and page break. <clears throat> that puts it on the next page. Okay, and it's bold. I don't want it to be bold, so I can select it. Actually, the, all the content here we're going to have to fix, but I'll make that not bold. Okay, so there's that. And so the very next thing, let's look and see what our very next thing is. I've got the title page, copyright, and then my abstract. So if I don't want to have an abstract, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click here right before the introduction, and I'm going to type or if I'm, I'm sorry, if I don't want a copyright page, I'll do abstract. Hit the enter button a couple times, and then I'll do, click up at the abstract, and I'll go to insert, break, and page break. Now I go to the introduction, and I will click insert, break, and page break. Okay. So let's go look at where we are right now in our structure. So I have, I didn't put the copyright in. If you, um, if you want to go ahead and add that at the very, like right now, say, well, you know, Nancy, I think I really want a copyright page. Show me how to do that. Okay. So I'll click on the copyright material right here where it's, where it's talking about the copyright material. And we have a ways that this is the way you can, uh, Mac, is option G, PC is alt uh, 0169, or I can just take this and I can copy it and I can change the information. So that comes right after the title page. So I'll go back to my, up back to my um, document and let me see where that abstract is. Here's the title page. All right, I can click right after the word studies and I could hit the enter button a couple times and I can go to insert, break, and page break. And I can paste it, control V and paste it. Copyright, what is it, 2020. And, and you have your name and you can click right here after all, right here and hit shift, enter, and we'll, we'll just keep it all like that. And then I'm gonna keep pushing that down I'm just going to hit the enter button a couple times. Take it to the bottom of the page. Okay, I like it there. It looks like this one went down too low. Okay. Abstract. Okay, so there's my abstract and here's my introduction. So I've got my, now I've got my cover. Now, if I don't have all the right information for the cover, let's go back and get the information for the cover. I'm, I'm going back and forth so you can see, because it, you know, it's not a perfect world. 
and you want to be able to go back and forth. So here I'm in that cover and I can click this. It doesn't have to be this, um, it doesn't have to be um, any certain font for the cover. You can certainly do whatever you want. Um, the font is for the, for the paper, it's going to be um, Times New Roman. Sorry about that, but that's really what we do. All right, so that, that'll give you, I'm a student, there we go. So get your title. And you, it doesn't have to be centered. You can left, right, however you want to do it, wherever you want to put it. it. doesn't have to be bold. You can, whatever you want to do with that, and however you want to do that with the picture. So let's look at our structure again. Now I've got my cover, with, and I don't have my picture on here, but I've got my cover. I've got my title page, and this will go down, um, this will be two inches. Um, and I've got to put my name and my information here. Whoops. This is centered, actually. Um, your name to and fulfillment of and the subject of, of. And then here I've got my copyright. I can put my information, my abstract page, my introduction, and then here's my chapter. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put my cursor here at the beginning and go to insert, break, and page break to start my chapter one or to start the beginning of what I want to, to work on. Now, so I have an overall structure kind of set up now. And so let's, let's go ahead and, um, well, let's, well, let's, fat, uh, I'm sorry, scroll down to, let's scroll all the way down to um, the last page. I guess we should do this because it's part of the structure. Go all the way down. And just in case you don't know what you have yet, um, this is your bibliography or your works cited page. I'm going to go to insert, break, and page break. Okay, so bibliography you're going to use if you're using a um, MLA, I mean, I'm sorry, Chicago style, and works cited is for MLA. And we'll talk about that difference uh, in a bit. But uh, for now, that is our information on the structure and we're going to um, we're going to stop right there for a minute.